Somewhere out there between the cold emptiness that separates the stars, something ancient and impossible is moving toward our sun. Astronomers call it Three-Eye Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever to cross into our solar system. But what we're seeing defies every expectation of how the universe is supposed to behave. When it was first detected back in July, it was just a faint glimmer, barely distinguishable from background starlight. But now, only a few months later, it has transformed into something extraordinary. A traveler from another world racing through our cosmic backyard at 60 kmws, accelerating as it dives straight toward the sun. And yet, what makes 3 Atlas truly mysterious isn't just its speed, it's everything else. Its glow is far brighter than models predicted. Its chemistry doesn't match any known comet. Its movement through space is eerily smooth, almost controlled. And for the first time in history, NASA's Mars rovers, not Earth-based telescopes, may have captured its passage through the night sky above another planet. Now, as it approaches its perihelion, the point of closest contact with the sun, scientists around the world are watching and waiting, because what happens next could redefine everything we know about interstellar travel. Solar physics and maybe intelligent design itself, this isn't just another comet. It's a cosmic messenger, one that may not survive its encounter with the sun. But before it disappears, Three Eye Atlas might just reveal secrets that have been drifting through the galaxy for billions of years. It began, as most great discoveries do, almost by accident. In the quiet of a July night, while astronomers around the world sifted through endless streams of celestial data, a faint point of light appeared barely visible, almost indistinguishable from the static glow of background stars. At first, no one paid attention. It was too dim, too ordinary just another data blip in a sky filled with them. But one physicist, a theorist from the International Astrophysics Network, looked closer. The object wasn't behaving like a star or an asteroid. Its light was flickering in a way that didn't make sense, its brightness changing slightly from night to night as if it were alive, as if it were moving against the background rather than with it. Within days, the signal was confirmed. This was something new, something moving through the solar system that didn't belong here, they named it Three-Eye Atlas, the third interstellar object ever detected, following the legendary Oumuamua in 2017 and Two-Eye Borisov in 2019. But even from those first nights, it was clear this one was different. Unlike Borisov, which looked like a classic comet, and unlike Oumuamua, whose shape and motion still defy explanation, Three-Eye Atlas seemed to be evolving. As more telescopes locked onto it, that faint dot of light began to grow, its luminosity increased, its coma expanded, and its motion became smoother, as though it were adjusting to the conditions of our solar system, learning how to move within it. Within weeks, what had once been invisible was now dazzling through the eyepieces of the world's most powerful instruments. Scientists watched in awe as the object transformed before their eyes, a cosmic chrysalis unfolding across the vacuum of space. By the time it was officially classified, one thing had become certain. This wasn't a rock tumbling through the void. It was an active traveller, a body that had crossed light years of interstellar space to reach our sun. And as it continued to brighten and accelerate, one physicist summed up the global mood perfectly. The next great secret of the universe is happening right now. What began as a flicker, a whisper lost among the stars, had become a blazing mystery racing toward the heart of our solar system. For the first time in human history, we weren't just observing an interstellar visitor from afar, we were about to witness it up close. From the moment Three-Eye Atlas was first identified, astronomers knew it was special. But they didn't yet realize just how fast things were about to escalate. In the months that followed its discovery, this faint visitor from the stars began a breathtaking journey toward the center of our solar system. What was once a static point of light was now racing inward, accelerating under the pull of the sun's immense gravity. By early October, Three-Eye Atlas had reached a speed of nearly 60 kilometers RS, moving with such force that it was covering more than 200,000 kilometers every hour. Yet its path wasn't erratic or chaotic, as one might expect from a body that had spent millions of years drifting through deep space. Its orbit was precise, clean, and shockingly stable. Astronomers calculated that within weeks it would reach its maximum velocity, around 68 kilometers s, as it skimmed dangerously close to the sun between October 29th 
and 31st. That window, known as the perihelion, would mark the object's closest approach, just 0.36 astronomical units, or a little over a third of the distance between Earth and the Sun. For planetary scientists, it was a once-in-a-lifetime event. Never before had humanity been able to watch an interstellar object make such a close and observable pass near our star. In the words of one researcher, 3i Atlas isn't just visiting, it's diving headfirst into fire. The timing couldn't have been more critical. As the object plunged toward the inner solar system, it began to glow more intensely. Its coma, the hazy envelope of dust and gas surrounding its core, expanding under the onslaught of solar radiation. Each increase in brightness told scientists that something inside it was reacting, changing, perhaps even breaking apart. But the more they studied it, the more confused they became. Comets from our solar system behave predictably when they near the sun, ice melts, gas escapes, and they brighten in smooth, measurable patterns. But 3i Atlas was different. Its brightness fluctuated erratically, increasing and decreasing without rhythm or reason, as though responding to forces that no one could model or explain. And yet through it all its trajectory remained unchanged, a razor-straight path through the chaos of solar wind and gravitational turbulence. No deflection, no drift, no sign of external disruption. It was as if it were being guided, its course locked onto an invisible rail through the void. This unnerving precision left astronomers divided. Some insisted that natural dynamics could account for its behavior, that perhaps its density or mass distribution was simply unlike anything we'd seen before. But others whispered a far stranger possibility. What if 3i Atlas wasn't entirely at the mercy of physics? For now, all anyone could do was watch as the object continued its descent, a blazing alien messenger falling toward the heart of the sun. If anything unusual was going to happen, it would happen soon and every observatory, satellite and space mission across the inner solar system was watching, waiting for the moment when the universe would blink again. By early October, as 3i Atlas hurtled closer to the sun, a rare cosmic alignment was forming, one that no scientist could have planned, but every space agency on Earth was desperate to exploit. On October 3rd, the interstellar traveler passed within one quarter of the Earth-Sun distance from Mars, a proximity so perfect that the red planet found itself in an ideal vantage point to observe the phenomenon. For the first time in history, humanity would have the chance to see an interstellar object not from Earth, but from another world. Mars, our silent outpost on the cosmic frontier, had become the ultimate observation platform. At the European Space Agency, the Mars Express Orbiter and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter adjusted their instruments for chemical and optical readings. At NASA, both the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and the MAVEN spacecraft were repositioned to capture data. And beyond them, in the thin Martian atmosphere, the Perseverance rover waited, its cameras trained toward the dark horizon, ready to record whatever appeared above the red dunes of Jezero Crater. Then on the night of October 2nd, as the skies over Mars fell into darkness, Perseverance began a nine-minute exposure, a long, patient stare into the alien night. When the image was finally transmitted back to Earth, what it revealed sent ripples through the scientific community. Across the frame, cutting diagonally through the blackness, was a bright, thin streak of light. Not a random flash or cosmic ray, but a continuous trail of motion, stretching perfectly across multiple exposures. It wasn't a glitch. It wasn't a satellite. It wasn't a meteor. Every angle, every coordinate, matched the predicted position of 3i Atlas as it passed by Mars. For the first time, an object from another star had been photographed from another planet. Astronomers quickly verified the details. The angle of the trail corresponded exactly to the direction of the comet's inbound path. The brightness matched the readings from orbiting instruments, and its apparent motion across the Martian sky was consistent with its speed, nearly 60 kilometers on Earth, where telescopes were already losing sight of the object due to solar glare. The confirmation from Mars was groundbreaking. For those few hours, every mission orbiting or resting on the Martian surface was looking at the same alien visitor, recording data that would take months to fully analyze. In laboratories and control centers, scientists stared at the images with a mix of disbelief and awe. 
Humanity had always looked outward from one world, but now we were seeing the universe from two. Mars had become our mirror, and in it we'd captured the reflection of something ancient, something that had crossed unimaginable distances to reach us.